Hello, this is just a quick one on showing you how to set up Slate Trigger in Pro Tools. If you're looking for the Logic version, there's another video for that, but if you're looking for Pro Tools, stick around. Okay, so it's nice and straightforward. The first thing you need to do is create an AUX track. Make sure it is stereo. Okay, so we've got a stereo AUX track, there we go. Um, set a bus number, we're gonna go with one and two. That's nice nice and easy, good place to start. And uh, we're gonna be triggering a snare today. So we're gonna call that snare trigger, okay. Insert a, an instance of trigger just in one of the early insert slots. Again, make sure it's a stereo version. And now what we're going to be doing is from this, the track that we're triggering, in, which is the snare we're going to send a send from that and make sure it goes into the left side of the plugin okay so we've got bus one and bus two so the left side is going to be bus one so send that only into bus one and make sure that that is pre-fader as well and then essentially you're good to go with that but the the next step is to set up anything that's going to be for suppressing so this is going to be like your kick drum or maybe some toms even if you don't know exactly what's going into there yet we need to to just understand exactly the methodology of how to set that up. So in this case, I want my kick drum to be going in there. So we're gonna choose bus two, because that is the right side of the plugin. Okay, so we've got bus one, bus two, this is gonna be the right hand side, make that pre-fader. And now that means that anytime you use this suppress knob here, it's gonna be picking things up from that kick drum. If you wanna take any suppression settings from the tom, then you do the same thing. We can just drag that over. We can say tom two is now being sent to the right side of the plugin and is now going to be suppressing anything that it's that it's going into. Now that can be adjusted accordingly depending on, on what the song needs but the main thing is to just have that set up and understand what the routing means and where you're putting things into where. Uh, the last point in case you haven't done this already is make sure you get your browser set up. So this is where all of your plugins or rather all of your uh, samples are going to be living. So let's go to settings and then up here select base directory. Now for me I have one which is just entitled samples that makes a lot of sense and then I've got all of my samples, that's a great deal. All of them are just sitting in there ready to be found and used. So now when we go to browser, all of that, that same direct, exactly the same directory that you just saw now appears there and I can pick anything I like. All of those WAVs, I can just bring it in and we're ready to go. That's essentially all you need to do. So make sure you go and check out my main video on using Slate Trigger. That will take you through all of the ins and outs and all the details of how to use it. Great, thanks for listening.